Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video and this is still about problem solving involving rational algebraic expressions. So, nabanggit ko nga po sa unang video natin which is about number problem na ang steps natin in solving problem involving RAEs are the same. So, the first step is to read. Read the problem several times and analyze the facts. Step 2 is to represent or assign a variable for the unknown. Step 3 is to equate or create or make an equation. Step 4 is to solve the resulting equation and step 5 is to check the solution. Yung step 5 po optional. If gusto nyong mag-checking, pwede po. Kung ayun naman po, pwede rin naman. Now, let's have work problems. Okay? And this is our first example. Computer A can process school papers in 8 hours. Computer B can process the same job in 6 hours. How long will it take to finish the school papers using the computers? Gano daw kabilis matatapos, ma-process yung school papers kung sabay gagamitin si computer A and si computer B. So, in this type of word problems, kailangan natin i-represent ito using a table form. So, we have computer A, computer B, and if they work together, how long will it take to finish the job? So, kay computer A, natatapos niya lang yung trabaho within 8 hours. And then, for computer B, kaya niyang i-process the same job in 6 hours. Now, ang tanong, gano nga ba kabilis matatapos yung same job kung sabay silang gagamitin? So, yun yung unknown natin. Kaya, siya yung variable M natin. Then, for the fractional part, we have 1 over 8, 1 over 6, and 1 over M. So, bakit 1 ang ating numerator? Kasi, same job lang naman po sila. So, 1 8, 1 6, and 1 over M. Now, we're going to make our equation. And dahil nga, kailangan po ay sabay silang gagamitin. They will work together. And kapag meron tayong together na word, ang operation natin doon ay addition. So, we have 1 8 plus 1 6 is equals to 1 over M. So, 1 8 plus 1 6 is equals to 1 over m. So, yan yung ating isosolve ngayon. Now, ano ang magiging LCD ni 8, ni 6, at ni m? So, the LCD for 8, 6, and m is sila din po mismo. A times 6 times m. Multiply natin siya. We have 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6. Equal siya saan? We have 1 over m times, again, we have the LCD 8 times 6 times m. Okay? Now, tandaan po, itong nasa left side natin ay dalawang terms. So, pareho natin siyang multiply by our LCD. 1 8 times our LCD, makakancel po natin yung 8. So, matitira na lang ay si 6 times m times 1 and that is 6m. On the second term, we have 1 6 multiply by the LCD, makakancel si 6, matitira ay si 8 times m times 1, that is 8m. On the right side of the equation, ang makakancel natin is si m, so matitira si 1 times 8 times 6 and that is 48. So now we can combine the like terms in our equation. 6m plus 8m is 14m. Equal siya sa 48. Now we're going to divide both sides by 14 para matira na lang natin si m. So here we have m is equals to 48 over 14. So to write our final answer, gagawin natin siyang mixed fraction. So meron tayong whole number at meron tayong fraction. So how to do that, you have to divide 48 by 14. 48 divided by 14. So meron tayong 3. 3 times 14 is 42. Then ano yung remainder natin? We have 6. So ito yung remainder. Kaya isusulat natin siya, our final answer as 3 and 6 over 14. Or, dahil yung 6 over 14 ay may lowest term pa, that will be 3 and then divisible both by 2. So, we have 3 over 7. 3 and 3 over 7, lagyan na lang natin siya ng R's. Kasi R's po yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina. So, yung hinahanap natin, kung sabay gagamitin si computer A at si computer B, matatapos lang nila yung the same job in 3 and 3 7 R's. Okay? So, pwede nyo naman pong i-multiply pa si 3 over 7 sa 60 para makuha yung in minutes. Pero, pwede naman po na ganito na lang. Again, paano nakuha yung mixed fraction? We divide the numerator by the denominator. Kinuha yung ating quotient as whole number. Then, the remaining will be our numerator. Ito siya. And then, kunin yung denominator. Then, yung lowest term natin. Kaya siya naging 3 over 7. So, the final answer for example number 1 is 3 and 3 over 7 R's. Okay? Let's have our example number 2. We have here, Ana Rosa owns a jewelry shop. She can make 
three dozen of bracelets in two hours. Her helper can do the same number of bracelets in three hours. How long will it take them to make three dozen of bracelets if they work together? So, ang tanong po ulit, if they work together. So, yun po ulit yung nawawala. We're going to represent our problem in table form. We have Ana Rosa, her helper, and if they work together. So, number of hours work. So, hours naman po yung pinag-usapan natin. Si Ana Rosa, kaya niyang makatapos ng tatlong dosena in two hours. Her helper can do the same job in three hours. Then, the question is, how long will it take them to make three dozen of bracelets if they work together? So, I am going to represent the unknown as variable J. So, for the fractional part, our numerator now is three. So, you can also do one because they have the same job naman po. And in this part, I will use three as numerator. So, three over two, three over three, and three over J. So, yan po yung gagamitin natin in our equation. Again, if they work together, so that means add lang po ulit. Sino alin ang i-add? 3 over 2, 3 over 3, and then 3 over J. So, yan po yung equation na gagamitin natin for the solving. Then, now, what will be the LCD of 2, 3, and J? So, yun din po. 2, 3, and then J. Multiply natin siya sa 3 over 2 plus 3 over 3. Equal sa 3 over J. Then, multiply natin siya sa ating LCD 2 times 3 times J. So, for our terms on the left side of the equation, 3 over 2 times our LCD, makakancel si 2. Matitira si 3 times 3 times J. We have 9J. Then, on the second term, we have 3 over 3. Makakancel natin si 3. We have 2 times J times 3. That is 6J. On the right side, makakancel natin si J. 3 times 3 times 2 is 18. Okay? So, this will be our resulting equation. 9J plus 6J, that is 15J, equals siya sa 18. Okay? And then now, divide both sides by 15. We're going to have J is equals to 18 over 15. And then, again, gagawin natin siyang mixed fraction. Paano po ulit yun? 18 divided by 15. Ilang 15 ang meron sa 18? We have 1. 18 minus 15. So, remainder is 3. J is equals to 1 and 3 over 15. Or, again, meron tayong lowest term for 3 over 15. We have 1, 1 over 5. The final answer for our example number 2, Ana Rosa and her helper can do the same job if they work together for only 1 and 1 fifth hours. Huwag kalimutang ilagay ang unit of measure. So, hours lang po. 1 and 1 fifth hours, kaya nilang tapusin yung tatlong dosenang bracelets. Now, let's have example number 3. We have here, Ed can do a job in 4 days. When Ed and Mai Mai work together, it would take them 2 and 1 third days. How long would it take Mai Mai to do the job alone? So, gano nga ba katagal kapag si Mai Mai lang ang magtrabaho? So, again, in this problem, we have to represent it in table form. Ed can do the job in 4 days. Mai Mai, so siya yung unknown. And then, if they work together, matatapos daw nila yung trabaho in 2 and 1 third days. So, kung meron tayong mix fraction, gagawin natin siyang improper. And if you could still remember how to do mixed fraction into improper fraction, we have to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So, 3 times 2 plus our numerator which is 1. So, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So, meron tayong 7 over 3 days if they work together. Nawawala ay kung gano kabilis or gano katagal matatapos ni Maymay ang trabaho ng siya lang mag-isa. Now, for the fractional part, Meron tayong 1 fourth, 1 over x, and 1 over 7 over 3. We're going to have 1 fourth plus 1 over x. So, yung 1 fourth ay yung kay Ed. Yung 1 over x ay yung kay Maymay. And then, if they work together, magkakaroon sila ng 1 over 7 over 3. So, ito po ngayon yung ating isosolve. Hindi muna natin siya pwedeng i-multiply by the LCD because meron tayo ditong 1 over 7 over 3. Huwag kayong matakot kasi ito lang po yung concept niyan. Ibig sabihin, so copy muna natin si 1 fourth at saka si 1 over x. Si 1 over 7 over 3, para lang tayong merong 1 divided by 7 
over 3. And kung natatandaan nyo po in division of RAE, ibig sabihin po nito yung divisor natin, ire-reciprocate lang natin. So, 1 times the reciprocal of the divisor, we have 3 over 7. So, 1 times 3 over 7 equals 3 over 7. So, ibig sabihin yung ating equation dito is 1 fourth plus 1x equals 3 over 7. Now, yan po yung multiply natin by the LCD. Ano kaya ngayon ng LCD ni 4, ni x, at ni 7? So, the LCD for 4, x, and 7 is 28x or simply, yun na lang din pong ating denominator. We have 4, x, and 7. Multiply to 1 fourth plus 1 over x equals to our 3 over 7. Then, multiply by the LCD, we have 4 times x times 7. So, yung 1 fourth multiply by the LCD, makakancel yung 4, matitira si x times 7 times 1, that is 7x. Then, on the second term, 1 over x, makakancel si x, 4 times 7 times 1, that is 28. Next, on the right side of the equation, 3 over 7 times our LCD, makakancel po si 7, matitira si 3 times 4 times x, that is 12 x. Okay? So, ngayon, magkahiwala yung ating dalawang x. Gagamit tayo ng addition property of equality or yung additive inverse. What is the additive inverse of positive 7x? That is negative 7x. So, we have here 28 is equals to 12x minus 7x. So, 28 is equals to 12 minus 7, that is 5x. Divide both sides by 5. So, x is equals to what? 28 divided by 5 is 5. So, 5 times 5 is 25. 28 minus 25 is 3 over 5. So, days po ang ating unit of measure dito kasi days yung nabanggit sa problem. Ayan, number of days. So, the final answer for our example number 3 is my mic can do the job alone in 5 and 3 fifth days. So, let's have our final example here. Sarah takes 3 hours longer to paint a floor than it takes Kate. When they work together, it takes them 2 hours. How long would each take to do the job alone? So, gano daw kaya katagal kapag mag-isa lang si Sarah at mag-isa lang si Kate na gagawa ng trabaho? So, in this case, in our representation, there is no specific number of hours pa of work for Sarah and kay Kate. So, sabi sa problem, Sarah takes 3 hours longer to paint a floor than it takes Kate. Mas matagal daw si Sarah kesa kay Kate. So, ano yung kay Kate? Yun pa po yung una nating unknown. So, that is x or any variable you want to use. Then, si Sarah, mas matagal siya ng 3 hours. So, mag a tayo ng 3 doon kay Kate. Okay? And then, if they work together, they can finish the job in just 2 hours. So, ito po yung ating gagamitin for the fractional part. We have 1 over x, 1 over x plus 3, and then 1 over 2. So, for our... Step number 3, which is to form the equation, we have 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 3 is equals to 1 half. So, yan po yung gagamitin natin. And, kailangan natin ng LCD niya. Ano ang LCD ng x? Ng x plus 3 and 2. So, dahil wala naman pong common, lahat po sila ay part ng ating LCD. Okay? x times x plus 3 times 2. Multiply to the left side of the equation. We have 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 3. Kuwas siya sa 1 half times again sa ating LCD, x, x plus 3, and 2. Okay? So, for the first term, 1 over x multiply sa LCD, makakansel natin si x, matitira ay si x plus 3 times 2 times 1. And then, on the second term, we have 1 over x plus 3 times the LCD, makakancel si x plus 3, matitira si x times 2, and that is 2x. On the right side, makakancel si 2, matitira si x, and x plus 3. So, x times x plus 3. Now, we multiply this resulting equation, 2 times x and 2 times 3, that will be 2x plus 6, and then add natin si 2x. On the right side, we have x times x is x squared, and then x times 3 is 3x, okay? And kung natatandaan nyo po, sinabi ko sa inyo on our first video about 
problem solving, kapag meron tayong magiging variable raised to the second power, kailangan nating makapag-form ng ating trinomial para ma-factor natin siya. So, bago natin gawin trinomial, i-combine na muna natin yung like terms. 2x plus 2x is 4x plus 6. So, x squared plus 3x. Now, we're going to form a trinomial. We need the additive inverse of 4x and 6, and that is negative 4x and negative 6. So, x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 6. Now, combine ulit natin yung like terms. We have x squared and then 3x and negative 4x. If we combine, the result is negative x, then negative 6. Now, we have to get the factors of negative 6 with the sum of negative 1. So, it's no other than x minus 3 and x plus 2. Equal natin ngayon yan sa 0. So, these factors will now be equate to 0. x minus 3 is equals to 0 and x plus 2 is equals to 0. Additive inverse ulit of negative 3, that is positive 3. And additive inverse of positive 2 is negative 2. Now, alin lang dito yung pwede natin consider as answer. Meron ba tayong negative na number of r's? Siyempre po, wala. So, itong negative 2x, hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitin as our final answer. So, ito lang po yung ating pwede natin gamitin. x is equals to 3. So, si Kate, kaya niyang tapusin yung trabaho in just 3 hours. And then, si Sarah, na mas matagal magtrabaho ng tatlong oras, so, x plus 3, that means 3 plus 3, kaya niyang matapos yung same job in 6 hours. So, ito po yung ating final answer for our example number Four. Kate can do the job in 3 hours while Sarah can do the same job in 6 hours. Okay, so that ends our video lesson about work problems. I hope you have learned something from this video. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-subscribe, at mag-hit ng notification bell button para po ma-notify kayo when I have uploaded new videos. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!